Today's poem for discussion is A Memory by Rupert Brooke. I think that I'm going to make this one the first one, so I'd like to welcome you to this little segment, which is a place for writers to discuss poems and to discuss um, how we interpret them and how their style, diction, and so forth affects not just their meaning, um, but the lyrical pleasure that we get from listening to them. Um, it is subjective, but there of course are a lot of objective things that you can analyze about a poem um, using the definitions that we have within English literature. To select these poems, I'm actually going to be um, trying to go through the entire app, um, English Poems, which is a wonderful app that you can get on the Google Play Store. I don't know if it's also available for Apple. Um, but literally, they have attempted to collect all the best-known poems of all of the major English-speaking poets. Um, and this goes from people back in you know, the 1800s and earlier to, um, you know, through 19th century people like Langston Hughes um, to, uh, you know, very modern, very recent Japanese, uh, American English writing poets. Um, just spans the whole gamut. And so eventually, over the course of the next hundred years or so, um, we'll get to every single one of these uh, major poems, I think. Um, and that's pretty exciting. So today's poem is A Memory by Rupert Brooke. Some while before the dawn I rose and stepped softly along the dim way to your room and found you sleeping in the quiet gloom and holiness about you as you slept. I knelt there till your waking fingers crept about my head and held it. I had rest, unhoped the sight of heaven beneath your breast. I knelt a long time still, nor even wept. It was great wrong you did me, and for gain of that poor moment's kindliness and ease and sleepy mother comfort, child you know, how easily love leaps out to dreams like these who has seen them true, and love that's wakened so takes all too long to lay asleep again. I think this one is interesting. Um, to me, it seems to be speaking to um, a lover, a past lover maybe, um, that where he, they were staying in the same house or something, and he went to her room. Um, and this is a memory that he has of, of her. But it may, um, actually, on second reading, I thought, uh, you know, with all the mother-child metaphors, um, I thought maybe those aren't metaphors. <laughs> maybe um, this is a parent remembering a lost child, um, a child who, you know, pat them on the head when they went over to besides them, or, um, you know, the other way around. But I, I think it'd be more likely to be the second. Um, so without looking up the actual history of the poem, what do you think? based on its interpretation below. Um, please let me know in the comments and we shall discuss. Um, discussion rules, generally we're going to try to talk about the diction, the literary flavor of things. Um, this is uh, written in sonnet form so we can talk a little bit about sonnets if you so please um, and what makes a, what makes a sonnet um, if we need to review that. Um, I love just the statement um, that it was, you know, wrong to have that kind moment. Not wrong morally, but it it hurts more when you have something beautiful to remember. It hurts less um, if you don't, right? So that's uh, um, today's poem of the day. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you'll join me tomorrow.